In this video, we'll learn how to select the correct transformers when building a three-phase transformer bank. We'll use a work order that shows the system voltage, voltage required by the customer, and the size of the needed transformers. On the work order, the system voltage is 7,200, 12,470. The customer is requiring three 25 kVA transformers. We'll hook them up three phase 240 and single phase 120. We'll start by comparing these three pieces of information to the transformer nameplate. The high voltage rating on the nameplate reads 7,200 volts, which matches the phase to ground connection on the system voltage. The low voltage on the nameplate is 12240, which also matches the voltage required by the customer. Lastly, the size of the transformer is 25 kVA, which matches the transformers on the work order. So, the first three pieces of information to compare between the work order and the nameplate are the system voltage, the voltage required by the customer, and the size of the transformers. When banking transformers together, there are two variables to consider, impedance and polarity. The transformer's impedance ratings must be similar. You can check them here on the nameplate. If one of the transformer's impedance ratings was lower than the other two, it could be overloaded and cause it to wear out faster. To make sure they're similar enough, follow these tolerance guidelines. For amorphous core transformers, if the impedance is below 2.5%, all banked transformers should be within 10% of the average impedance rating. And if it's above 2.5%, all banked transformers should be within 7.5% of the average impedance rating. In this example, our average impedance is 2, so we need to find our tolerance range of plus or minus 10%. To find 10%, we'll multiply the average impedance by 0.1, or 10%, which equals 0.2. That makes our tolerance range extend from 1.8 to 2.2. In this case, all three transformers are in the acceptable range. Different types of transformer cores could change the tolerance levels, so follow the manufacturer's and your company's guidelines for safe and proper operation. The second variable to consider is polarity. We want the three transformers to have the same polarity, which can either be additive or subtractive. Most of the time, the nameplate will indicate whether it's additive or subtractive, but to double check, we can look at the H1 bushing on the primary side and compare it to the secondary bushings. If the X1 on the secondary is on the same side as the H1, it's subtractive. If the X1 is on the opposite side, it's additive. Remember, same subtractive, opposite additive. You can bank transformers with different polarities and make them work, but this is not the best practice, and it poses a hazardous risk to the next line worker. It's best practice to find three transformers that have the same polarity. So, what did we learn? To select a transformer for a three-phase bank, verify that the nameplate system voltage, low voltage, and transformer size all match the work order. The impedance and polarity of each transformer you bank together should match. Remember to always check your voltage and rotation according to company procedures. Thanks for watching this Northwest Lyman College tutorial. Work safe out there.